What's up guys, it's Mil here and today I want to start something new. Uh, it's a series called Replays or Pokemon Short on Replays. And in this series I just post narrate some battles which I found really exciting to play and where both players, you know, my opponent and me, did really good plays. And also um, I think we two did a few mistakes, I don't know. <clears throat> we will see in the recording, I will get to that. If we do mistakes, or if my opponent or me does mistakes, you know, you can learn from that. I also can learn from that. And you know, it is also fun to see a really, really um, exciting match. Opponent uses. I'm, I'm really not sure about the opponent's team. You know, um, he has three fairy checks, which is uh, quite strange because you know, Heatran would be enough for a fairy check, or even. Heatran plus Excrude would be more than enough. You know, I, I wouldn't run these because he would he would be pretty weak to Keldeo. But then again, he has a Venusaur, so <clears throat> he runs some kind of uh, these four are offensive. This I expected this to be Choice Guard or this to be Choice Guard, and these two are just in defensive backbones. You know, rocks and a Keldeo check. Uh, that's what that's what I would assume. Also, this is a Mega Manectric check. Um, yeah, just to sponge some hits from faster attackers. It also was uh, Lopani, you know, really, really fast threats. Yeah, Mega Alakazam is quite a problem for his team. You know, Scizor and, uh, no, not Scizor, Keldeo and Excludal. If Excludal is jolly, it outspeeds Mega Alakazam. But the nature of uh, offense is, in any way, is um, they lose to some very fast threats. That's just the nature of it. You can you can change that. All right, let's start the match. You know, the first thing I saw, like I said, was he had three steel switches, and I wanted to rule them out because um, you know I have to weaken them. I have to somehow I have to weaken his team to go through. And on the beginning, I didn't really see how I would how I could sweep. Um, I had the idea that Thunderous could do something because I packed the HP flying. I could kill the Venusaur. I could kill the Heatran because I have a fighting move. Uh, I just have to bring him in range. I think it's 50% or something. I kill Caldeo if it's not Scarf. I check Bisha. I check um, Scizor because I resist all its attacks. I have to get rid of Thunderous and I have to get rid of, of, a, of a potential Sash on his Excuter. Now, I thought, okay, just lead, um, you know, many, I, I am lead charm, you know, that's, that's obvious, because otherwise, yeah, I could be lead charm, and he could have predicted that, going into um, his Keldeo, and it, he actually did that, but I didn't really expect the Keldeo, I just went into, I just went into uh, my Gardevoir, because his ground types, his ground and steel types. No, his steel types. His steel types get, get beaten by my Heatran and by my Garchomp. So I just to took the oppo opposing thing and lead with Gardevoir. Also, it does it really doesn't match up well against his team. He has what I thought at this moment was a choice back Skeldeo and uh, uh, choice back Skeldeo, yes. Which, which is a roll on, on, on uh, Mega, Alter, Mega Gardevoir. So I just let with a Gardevoir to go in the store, steals, and to I want him to switch them in. Yeah, I just lead with it, he leads with Kaleo, and now what I can do is just go in Scizor, Heatran, or Excludal to damage them, because it's important that I weaken his team so that I can uh, sweep with uh, Tony, Tony is in the end. Uh, Thunderous in the end. So I just go for Hyper Voice, and this Hyper Voice does a lot, really a lot. Now, you all know. I don't know if you know all, but many people know that Jambet's play was to stay in on a Gardevoir. I think it was in World Cup. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but he stayed in on the Scizor with his Gardevoir because he had a Garchomp in his back, and I somehow predicted him to. Um, I saw predict him to predict me to go in the guard chomp 
and uh, maybe go for U-turn or uh, go just for, for bullet punch because many people or many you know many people on the mid to high ladder stay in and just think well it might work out but it's a really risky play on my on my part and I really didn't predict the pursuit but it makes sense on his team because he has a Keldeo, uh, he has a Keldeo and a Venusaur which get destroyed by Latios so pursuit makes sense and it's also choice ban so it is it the crit you know he crits now but it doesn't matter because it does more it more than enough gold is really obvious and he has to switch because i kill his scissor and scissor just deals damage to my team you know it can superpower my heatran it can it has priority he also could have stayed in but you know it's it's good for priority i guess that's the reason why he switched now into his heatran which um is a solid thunderous switching if you don't predict or if the or if you're sure that your opponent isn't using focus blast i went for hp ice because i predicted the venus sword to come in not the heatran it's a play you can make but i wanted to weaken that venus sword really fast so that um so that I've, I just, I wanted, I just wanted to weaken that. Yeah, that's. I think that was my thought process there. Mm, maybe for Heatran, to just one shot hit. Yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to weaken that. It didn't really make sense because it matches up pretty badly against my team. Also, I, I kind of thought that I could sweep with Bishop, Sucker Punch. That's also why I wanted. To weaken that but he stays in with uh, he goes in the heatran uh, probably spadef and I go in the stami which is my safe play here yeah that's just my safe play he would live a hydro pump and that's the reason why he stayed in so I just go for hydro pump and miss unfortunately but you know that's that's the risk you take and he just goes for raw, which I found quite surprising. Um, I really didn't know why he just rolled there. He could have easily got up rocks, or maybe he predicted the the double on my part and just don't got for raw just to confuse me. But uh, I'm <laughs> there. I go. I'm in a really bad spot, bad spot now because you know he brought me out. I don't have damage on anything. He has killed my Gardevoir, which my team is built around. You know, I have to I have to do something at this moment. So uh, predicting his rocks because my thunderous was my switching my my um, my win condition. Yeah, rocks makes sense because I have a thunderous, and every time it gets in, it kills something pretty much. He can't he can't really switch in into thunderous. His, his all thunderous gets killed by T bolt or after rocks. Uh, his Keldeo gets killed on the switch. I could predict Excadrill. I could predict Heatran. This gets killed, and HP fire, HP I am um, HP flying kills this. So Thunderous is a huge threat on his team unless one of these two is Scarf. That's why I predicted him to go on the Stealth Rocks, and I made the play to Sword Stance here because I wanted to get rid of the Heatran and also be at plus two with Bishop, go in his Keldeo, and see what item he is so that I can be sure that I can. Um, sweep with my um, with my thunderous yeah I just wanted to I really wanted to get in the Keldeo because I wanted to know what kind of set he is because then I could switch and go on a stami and um, see the damage and then go from there I go for sword stance because he predicted the switch I go for sword stance yeah and kill him with knockoff now this is one steel gone now he finally brings in the Keldeo I go into stami on the um, on the secret sword, and now he goes for yeah he goes for secret sword, and I see the damage which is, which is around thirty percent, and that tells me that he is not specs, which is really good information. At that point, I thought he was choice scarf, maybe double scarf on the team, would somehow make sense, you know, but uh, yeah, in the end he was a different set. But I really predicted him to be Choice Scarf and run maybe a Wallbreaker Excadrill set 
with sword stance or something. I don't know. Uh, he switches. Yeah, he switches out on my stami. Uh, maybe not risking the roll. That was my thought there, and also preserving it for turn for thunderous. This was also my um, thought that he saves Keldeo if he doesn't kill, so that he has a check. Oh, so that he can revenge my tornadoes uh, in the end. But he goes into Venusaur. Venusaur does absolutely nothing on his team, and I just go for Psy Shock. Uh, yeah, just bringing him down to 15%. I'm also low, but now you know his Rocker is dead, which Bishop did handle very nicely. And now what I can do is um, the Rapid Spin is basically for free here because. What I'm, go what I'm trying to do is go for the Thunderous Sweep and uh, getting rid of Keldeo doing that. I don't know how that is possible, but you know, I can live a Scald. It does around 50, the choice Scarf Scald. Uh, I just go for the Rapid Spin to make to open the way for Thunderous. He switches out in a Scissor, which is a smart play, because now he could kill me with Bullet Punch. But I predicted this time going. To, I, I make the same play again, do the switch, and he goes in the scissor. You know, I could have uh, kept Garchomp for his Excadrill, but uh, Bishop Bishop Sucker Punch does 80%, and I just need a little bit of damage on it. So that's why I didn't preserve it, or well, that's why I stayed in. I could have sacked Stami. But Stami would have killed his Keldeo. Because, uh, yeah, if he wasn't Scarf. So he just goes for the double bullet punch dice. I'm at 36%. Get up the rocks. He switches in Keldeo. And I don't have a switch in for Keldeo. So I'm somehow forced to switch in. I need my Thunderous. I need my uh, Bishop for his Excadrill. I need my Heatran. Uh, to you know, somehow handle the thunderous, which I also have nothing for. So just I'm just sacking guard jump at this point. Goes for scored, which is a kill anyway. And now he reveals, he reveals the. Um, now he re reveals the leftovers, which tells me that he's calm mind. So that's a problem for my team. If he gets one sub. And uh, I lost. Yeah, if he gets one sub and one calm mind, I basically just lose. Because everything gets killed, God of War gets okoed by Hydro Pump. So that's a problem there. Uh, I just go for Psy Shock. I don't know why I did this play, but I think to weaken Excadrill so that I can bring him in Bishop Sucker Punch range. Because suck a Bishop. Bishop could also sweep, killing Thunderous, Attorney, yeah, Thunderous after Rocks, killing um, Venusaur right away, and killing Excadrill with Sucker Punch. The only thing I had to get rid of was Keldeo then. That is really hard, but I had to try. So I just die to that, go on the Bishop, and try to get the Sucker Punch off. He switches and goes in the Venusaur, which is also a smart play, preserving that. Um, I get a safe kill here. But the problem is that uh, he can set up on set up with Kaleo now, and what my, what I could have done there was switch directly into my Thunderous, and then uh, prevent the Kaleo from coming in. But the problem with that play after killing Venusaur with HP flying was that his Excadrill, which is Scarf, almost confirmed because he has Kaleo, um, Kaleo with leftovers. That that I then forced the 50-50 with uh, Rock Slide and Earthquake and I really didn't want that because it just comes down to a, a coin throw which if I lose a Pokemon or not so I didn't want that. I uh, just go for uh, the attacking move. I switch out directly into my... I switch out into my Heatran. Uh, I think I'm packing the Raw I guess. He just goes for Substitute. Uh, what did I do? I, I'm not sure what I did in that turn. Ah, okay, I just wanted to break the sub all the time. 
he just goes for another um, for a mine, which is quite threatening. Then I go for a taunt. Yeah, I wanted to go on Heatran and taunt him into substitute so that he or taunt him into yeah, just taunt him so that he can go for sub because then I just lose to uh, just lose. So now he has to kill me, just kills me. My chance is now to go in the thunders. Now he, I had two ch I had two ways of still winning this game. You know, it looks pretty dark for me. And he has a plus two kill deal, which just kills my entire team. But I have still a shot if I hit the T-boat, do like um, bring him down to 30% and kill with Sucker Punch. And then spam Sucker Punch on his team. Or uh, second second possibility. I go for T yeah, T-boat, T-boat crit or T-boat bring in range. But I figured that, or I called that the T-Bolt wasn't strong enough to bring him down to Sucker Punch range of Bishop. So, my play... Yeah, I could have also gone for Thunderbolt, getting the crit, which had a very low chance. And my other play was to um, go for T-Wave, hope for the first power, paralyzes, uh, so hope for the full para, then hope for the second para. You know, it's 50% and then 25%, which makes uh, the half, which makes 12.5%. Now, I have a 12.5% to kill this Kaleo, and a 6.5%, 6.25% to crit. So, I forget, yeah, let's go for T Wave here. And I T Wave the Kaleo. He gets fully paralyzed, luckily for me. You know, it's a 50 50, a coin throw. Can't really say it's hex. I go for T-Bolt, get 63%, uh, which is pretty nice, but still not in Sucker Punch range of Bishop, and that's why I didn't go for that play. Uh, he gets paralyzed again, which is quite uh, unfortunate, sorry for that, just out Keldeo into his Excadrill, but my safe play was to go for T-Bolt anyway. No reason to go for Superpower or Focus Blast. Because then it's Caldeo lips and my thunderous dies. So just go for save T bolt. He goes for rock slide, doesn't miss. And at this point, I spam sucker punch and uh, oh, I got flinched. Yeah, at this point, I either can spam sucker punch or I can knock off, go back into the game. Um, I just want to click Sucker Punch. Oh, I, I clicked Sword Stance. So he goes for another Rock Slide. I get flinched again. Now I finally get the Sucker Punch off and I just have two hits and he has two Pokemon. Now he could have T-Wave. And, um, you know, Sucker Punch. Yeah, you see, Sucker Punch is not a kill 100%. So I think that's the reason why I went for Sword Stance there. Yeah, and also, and I also couldn't predict three flinches. So all the not all the hex, but the hex I got on Keldeo, he he got back somehow. No, two flinches or three flinches. That's also really, really unlikely. So I just go for sucker punch. Um, I could have also went for knockoff. Also, a play would have been to go for knockoff. Um, because then. He T waves my bishop and is faster with the Skeldeo and can potentially get up the sub on the Sucker Punch. That was not pretty, that was a possibility. You know, it's a 50-50 anyway. And when you have 50-50s, the only thing you can consider of which move is better in a 50-50 is how your opponent plays. But I figured he would go for sub for Sucker Punch, also not all thunderous carry T wave. So that's why I went for Sucker Punch, killed the Thunderous for sure, no roll included, and I also killed the Keldeo. Yeah, Keldeo, yeah, on Keldeo the knockoff was also a roll. Yeah, that was, yes, I think that was the reason why I did that. You know, you see knockoff doesn't do enough, or it's a roll, so I had to go for the Thunderous, which, which turned out to be the correct play. And we both go down, I go down to Life Orb. He goes down to my knockoff, but I win the battle. And that was a really, really good game. 